Hey everybody, welcome to another uh, episode of uh, Just Us Hanging Out. <laughs> I'm Shane. I'm Javi. And welcome to Vulgar Display Gaming, where we talk all things heavy, nerdy, and everything in between if it's relevant to what we feel like talking about this week. So Javi, how's your week been? It's been pretty crazy. Like, all these announcements across the board uh, from like Metal Rock and video games and i mean like, like literally like there's just been so much shit going on i think for me the biggest thing that happened this week was those uh dillinger escape plan reunion shows i was like oh that's right shot. with the original uh singer dimitri right that's his name yeah dimitri Minakis. Yeah. yeah yeah happening next year june 21st and 22nd and all three of them are, are oh, all three dates at first it was only one date and yeah. then they, and then it sold out immediately and the second date got announced also sold out immediately and then they announced the third date and the bands that are on, on the first date and the second date on the third date and it's just like it's crazy like the lineup for the first one is uh is candy and uh Dallas cowboys right yeah no car bomb actually oh that, that was cowboys and uh dead guy on the second day and then all the all the bands on the last day those are even such great lineups which yeah shit. yeah and, and uh I, I, yeah is it at the Amityville Music Hall, I think? Yeah, yeah, it's you're right. It's a smaller kind of venue, two more intimate setting. But still. Well, just, you know, yeah, Dillinger's fucking, up. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, so. It's been seven years since they broke up. Uh, It's kind of hard I to wish, believe. That was the band I wish I could have gotten to see. And, like, I always kind of slept on them, you know? Like, I was like, ah, they'll be around. Same with, like, you know, every time I die, I've slept on them, too. I was like, fuck. Yeah. You know? It sucks. I know. Uh, yeah, they're going to play their first album in Tyranny. Um And uh, again, it's just surprising just because, like, they were, they were teasing about this stuff for a while. But, like, at first I thought they were just making, like, a new band just because uh, in the past, I want to say last year, uh, Ben Weinman, the original guitar player for Dillinger and Dimitri, they, they made a song together. But they didn't call it, like, oh, you know, Dillinger Escape Plan. They just, like, they just dropped the song and, like, called it that, you know? So I thought it was even something like that, but then like they were teasing like, oh, you know, the the 43% burnt riff and I was just like, okay, so something's happening clearly. And, but I wasn't expecting a reunion show, especially after like, all, every member was like super like, yeah, we're done. And I guess it was always possible just cause like a lot of the members are still doing music, you know, like yeah. Liam Wilson is in uh, uh, that one Swedish band. Uh, in flames? in flames, yes, in flames. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And then you know, uh, Greg Pucciato is obviously doing his own thing, his solo band. Yeah, I don't think Killer he's Killed. Go back. No, I mean, yeah, yeah. Obviously, he's not part of this lineup specifically. Uh, but per per pretty much every like Ben Wyman, Suicidal Tendencies. Mm -hmm. Uh, every every member is like doing something. Billy Reimer. Uh, so it was always possible, but I, I wasn't expecting it, especially after this long, long of a, a gap. You know, seven years is a long time. Kind of I mean, surprising. I mean, they knew it was going to generate a lot of buzz, and they were fucking going to hit it pretty big with these shows. So, or power yeah. to them. I wish I was on the East Coast. So, if you're on the East Coast and you're watching this, I hope you guys. Got you're a lucky it. bastard. You're a fucking lucky bastard. Like, no. Yep. You know, I know every band comes through LA, so I'm hoping uh, they get some kind of a mini tour going. They would make a shit ton of money. I'd be there. You know. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, but there again, there's been so much shit that came out this week. Um, what else was announced? There's the Voivod tour with oh, yeah. Forbidden. Uh, no, it wasn't for. It was a uh, no. It was Prong. Prong. Voivod and Prong. Yeah. Forbidden's going on tour with who? I already forgot. They're they're, they're not going on tour. They they're doing a uh, a Christmas oh, show with Christmas uh, show Death, Death Angel. Angel. Yep, yep. Yeah. That's gonna be a cool one. I think that's yeah. next weekend. Um, you had... all, all, I think all two days are sold out too. Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. right, lucky bastards. Yeah. But I want to make the trip to San Fran anyway. <laughs> right. Uh, right. Um, there was also that Kublai Khan tour. Oh, I saw that one too. It's got tsunami, a judiciary, and momentum the lineup. Is so good. Ooh, and then you have the uh, violence show with X Hoarder next year, and the boys from Order Wound are on it too. That little mini tour is going to be kicking off in the Midwest. 
Oh, you you guys are so lucky. There's no LA date for that no, either. I oh know, man, I know. do not miss that shit. Mortal Wounds has been like every. I've seen them like at least four times this year alone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're so good. They're the boys, uh, man. Local but yeah, violence. Boys. Yeah. Violence love, always love. kills it, and then X yeah. Order too. Like, get the fuck out of here. That's. I think they re I think they recorded a uh, music video earlier this year, so we'll probably see a new album for them next year. Oh yeah. Uh, it's just crazy. Violence and X-Hord are dormant for fucking, what, 20 years? And then all of a sudden they come back with some killer albums and tours, touring all the time now? Yeah. They have I'm a just sacred glad still... I think all three of those bands came back, like, resurrected around the same period almost. Yeah, I you think know, you're all right. These, all these thrash bands just came out of nowhere. It's like, oh, shit, a resurgence of the OGs of thrash. Sacred Reich, uh, fucking X-Horder and Violence. It was, it was crazy. I was just like really terrified about both of those bands just because like uh violence um i think it was earlier this year they uh their original drummer left the band and pretty much all it was left was uh you know uh the singer and uh the phil guitar demo player still in it? yeah phil demo still in it but like phil demo doesn't play with them uh live he only plays with them like at festival uh... so literally it's just uh the lead singer uh you know uh uh he's the only one lights like in the original well not yeah the the long forming lineup yeah. and is uh, Bill Demo back in Machine Head? He is not. Yeah, no, 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 that's no. What I it's just yeah, the, the problem didn't... is that like he's got other like family stuff going on, so like he, oh. they hired some, another guitar player to play with them while they're touring, but uh, he plays with them uh, at like festivals and stuff, stuff that's easier to schedule for mm -hmm. for himself because he's got like family ish, he's got family stuff going on, and then of course like he's also a Six member of Lamb of God. He's like always covering your ass. That's somehow. true. That's yeah. true. He does so, always pop in there a lot. Yeah, whether and he's like either playing a guitar or playing the bass, but he's like saving their ass one way or the other. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I, I mean, whatever if they make it work out, that's cool. And then obviously, uh, uh, Exorder. <laughs> at one point, Exorder didn't have a guitar player. They were like fresh that's out. True, that's and, true. Uh, so I was like, okay, they lost their original guitar player. So who the fuck is playing guitar? And then like, it turns out like, uh, Thomas his entire fucking time was able to fucking you know play guitar, and he. Oh shit. That's fucking bullshit. Cause like, <laughs> with a, a metal beer, no, that was a metal beer festival. Psycho Vegas. There was only one guitar player, and I was like, you're telling me the entire time you're gonna play guitar? <laughs> I want, I want my full setback. <laughs> no, but know, it's cool. Right? Cool, they're still kicking. Um. Uh, as far as like the buzz about the new song, I've heard good things about, so I'm excited to to hear whatever the fuck they have planned for next year. Yeah, we'll see what happens, but um, definitely, definitely some fucking killer tours getting announced already for next year. It's like, ah, this year was just jam-packed. This weekend alone, there were so many shows that none of us went to. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, we had the option of like four shows, five shows this weekend. It was way Cat too many. Ah, oh, dude, I know I saw Cattle Decap earlier this year, but I would mind. I wouldn't mind watching them again. There was and like, Sagusuka as well. And it was Graf Orlock's last show too. Yeah. Yeah. Up to them, they're a great band. Yeah, Graf Orlock and uh, uh, fucking Thou. I mean, and then tonight you had Possessed, and you had the uh, Toys for Tot show, and then you had fucking Queens of the Stone Age. Like, get the fuck out of here! Like, what the fuck is this weekend about? Like. We're gonna schedule every fucking show at once for you. Fuck all of you. Pick your fucking <laughs> pick what band you want to see. Yeah, I mean, I already p I had to start picking up tickets for some other shows just because like the the municipal waste tour was like pretty close to selling out. So is it? Did it sell I, out? Oh shit! I it's about get, to. So I didn't I'll, get a ticket yet. Oh do that. man! When is the, that? The problem, February, it's on right? a Tuesday. It's on oh, a Tuesday though. Tuesday. Yeah. Where is it at? Uh, fuck. Is it the Blasco? No, it was. It's close to the Blasco. What was it called? The uh, Bellwether. No. Fuck. It was what we wanted to watch. Uh, what's it called? Paul Bear. We wanted to go watch Paul Bear. The Regent. That avenue. The Regent. Yeah. It's a, no, it wasn't the Regent. Uh. Teragram. Yeah, Teragram. Yes. Yes. <laughs> there you go. I'll eventually get it. Damn, the yeah. Teragram is pretty small. That place is gonna be so fucking hot. I mean, <laughs> fine. You'll, you'll get sprayed with the ghoul juice. Ah, ghouls on it too. That's right. Fuck, man. Uh, 
fucking shows. Fuck. And then I had to pick up tickets for the uh, the one stop for the at the seventy twenty with the bloodbath, uh, mortal wound again. Oh, uh, that's in June too, ain't and it? And grave. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I'm not gonna. There's just too much shit going on. Already. Too much shit. Yeah. It's like, how is it? Next year hasn't even started yet, and we're already booking like fucking ten shows out. I know I got already. Uh, Sick New World. I'm definitely going to see Blind Guardian, as well as uh, Hell's Heroes. That's gonna be a fucking good one too. <sighs> yeah, I'm still on the waiting list for Sick New World and uh, Hell's Heroes. I'm still on the fence about, but dude, uh, Hell's Heroes is gonna be fucking awesome. I mean, Sodom, come on. I know. Uh, in the works, in the works, because you know, I have I have Evo to plan out too. We're definitely uh, going even, to registration Evo. registration for Evo Japan actually dropped earlier this week too. Really? No. Yeah. De I'm definitely going to Evo. I'll, I'll fucking jam out there with you. I'm not gonna fucking play. Like I'll fucking have, hold a sign as you kick ass and you win Street yeah. Fighter. You know, you'll be repping. I'm gonna make sure we get some sick merch. That's another thing. We gotta get. We're about to get some sick merch going. You know, some vulgar display gaming shit here, and then you're gonna be rocking that shit on stage, fucking, you know, kicking Justin Wong's ass. We're already calling no, him out. That's, that's the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, at Evo Japan, they're gonna have a, a third strike tournament, so make sure you guys watch I that. Oh, right, right. Uh, yeah, the, fucking speaking about all this arcade shit coming up, I got some cool videos coming up. I got, um, I wanna do a third strike video on my, uh, I have a Sega Blast City Candy Cab, as well as I wanna do a, um, uh, Vampire Saviors, well, Dark Stalkers here in America. I got a buddy who's gonna jam out on that. He's national champion. Very good, very good player. So be a good time. Yeah, good times. But um, yeah, Evo Japan's gonna be fun to watch for sure. Oh yeah, uh, especially with all these games. Uh, except for Mortal Kombat, that's like the one game that's like yeah. still banned over there. <laughs> it's banned over there. Yeah, the, yeah. I don't know what? why. I guess it's too violent for them, which too is kind of weird. Violent for the Japanese? I know. A bunch of... I don't know. They're very nice <laughs> people. <laughs> yeah, they're... <laughs> <laughs> um, and my um, other news, fucking E3 other... is well, especially wait, dead. Wait, we gotta go to... We still talk about Japan and Japanese news. Uh, Check this out, everybody. We're gonna be jumping around from metal, all sorts of shit. You have the uh, Chainsaw Man uh, oh. movie coming out. Check this out. Uh, you could talk a little bit more to it than I could, but look, you got this. Uh, that's a chick that was at the end of uh, the first season, season one. Season yeah. one. You got her. Exactly. Yeah, I don't understand her significance, but she's in it. So. Uh, she's basically one of the the main characters of his next arc that was gonna gonna happen after this uh, current season but i thought it was gonna be like another season but the uh -huh. fact that we're getting another movie is just like pretty nice uh yeah yeah so that was a nice surprise i literally just got got announced before this uh you know podcast was gonna start <laughs> so that was a uh, real nice to see just announced but chainsaw yeah. man's great you caught up on the manga oh yeah yeah i watch i'm reading it every week uh nice. Yeah, and it hasn't really let up yet, so keep looking forward to like these anime seasons because it gets even wilder. So this Crazy. is gonna take part of a whole story arc then this movie. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Cool, cool, cool. Um, at first I was kind of worried just because like you know it's been a almost a year since Chainsaw Man or, like came yeah. out, and I was like, are we gonna not get gonna get a second season or anything like that? No. But it looks like we finally are, so that's cool. No, so no, that's pretty fucking cool. Let's keep it going. Any other anime stuff going on? We'll keep it somewhat relevant in our topics and not bounce around too much. Uh, but we'll head back to metal if you want. We'll go back to uh, some cool other shit that came out. Yeah. Uh, Good job, man. The new fucking um, Amon Martha video. Saxons and Vikings teaming oh. up with Saxon. Come on, how fucking cool is that? You had Cliff from fucking Saxon in there singing. Cliff. I, as soon as I saw yeah. like the the <laughs> preview the preview for that like music video, I was like, no way! They actually got the Saxon dudes to like do this video, and it's yeah. sick. It's, it's just so them screaming cool. at each other in a field, though. I mean, it's a cool song, but like, I don't understand the premise of the video. Like, you have dudes in modern clothes, and then you have like <laughs> they're dressed in like metal shit, and then you have these dudes dressed up like Vikings. 
you, you have him yelling at him, you know, it's just, uh, I don't know. I th yeah, it's just, I don't know. I feel like it's pretty straightforward. Okay. I mean, okay. Here's another thing, dude. Let me get your take. Let me get your take on the fucking, what they named their tour. So that's another tour coming up. Amana Marth, Cannibal Corpse, and... Frozen Obit Soul. Frozen Soul. And Obituary. And Obituary. See, that's a killer tour. But Metal Crushes All Tour, it's kind of a fucking lame fucking tour name. <laughs> it's super cheesy. I mean, there was also, you it's know, Metal Tour cheesy. of the Year that Megadeth and Lime of God put out. Like, a yeah. couple of years ago. It's just, uh, that kind of shit's just cheesy to me. Great bands, but it's like... I mean, metal crushes all. Yeah. Me metal is inherently cheesy, so. It is, fine. but I mean, like, I don't know. They could have been fucking called the Skull well, well, Crusher think of, Tour. Think of, think of it this way. Like, this is going to be like an arena tour for a lot of these men. So, yeah. uh, they kind of had is, to come with an, like, an extravagant fucking name. I think this name. is Frozen Soul's first big arena tour. This is probably no, the biggest yeah, tour is. they've been on. Yeah. Which is and they just came, they just came back from doing a headline tour earlier this year, too. Yeah, but that was them playing club. This is them. I, I want to see Frozen Soul in a fucking arena. That's going to be fucking cool. Yeah, yeah. That'll be awesome. You know? I still need to get tickets for that. So hopefully it doesn't sell out yeah, by the time I... February? I think so. It's just so hard to keep up now. <laughs> but yeah, that's another tour you definitely do not want to miss. Um, no, there was... um. What else? We were talking about metal. Oh, we got... Uh, the singer of Necrogoblicon has uh, left the band, the only original member. Now you have the uh, singer of Infinite Annihilator and uh, John Goblicon. Yeah, Dickie Dines has done a bunch of like metal videos with Jared Dines and obviously his own stuff as well. Um, Infinite Annihilator is like a deathcore band, so it was kind of interesting to, yeah. to like even figure that out that like he's joining Necrogoblicon too. I mean. I'm pretty sure they still fit. I, I've seen some live clips of them, you know, doing their thing, and people seem to dig it. So yeah, so that's, that's cool. Yeah, so uh, Dicky Allen and John Gobblecon are the singers of Necrogoblicon now. It's kind of interesting. Yeah. See what happens. See how they go about. Um, so let's get to some more metal news. Let's just wrap up all the metal news here that we've seen. Uh, you know, R.I.P. to uh. Hail, uh, twitching, tr twitching Trunks drummer. Twi twitch, twitching Tongues drummer. As well as he backed up so many bands. Like, it's ridiculous how much shit he's been in, you know? He was in Fuming Mouth, Down yep. Presser. Uh, he was also the live drummer for Ghost Main. Mm -hmm. um, and we literally just saw him, like, not even three weeks ago. No. Uh, yeah, uh. just crazy. Uh, life is... You know, just uh, so crazy, just because like we, we literally just saw him like three years ago, and he's just like I know. everything was like just doing well and whatnot, but uh, sucks. Uh, so for now, they have their uh, their original drummer uh, taken over. At least in, I don't know if he's gonna be there permanently with switching tongues now, but uh, it's cool that at least they got him. I'll wait on their kale, you know, just to get their original drummer play the rest of his shows. That he was obviously supposed to be a part of. Uh, but yeah, it's RIP. Uh, there, yeah. there is like a uh, link to donations. Um, we'll probably put at the you know in the description. Yeah, it's definitely uh, something that's sad. Well, in the other news too, the original drummer of ACDC I think passed away this week as well. Um, that I don't have pulled up, but yeah, I, I forget his name, but he passed away as well. So yeah. it just sucks, you know. And people pass away who made a great impact on uh, our genre of music. Um, here's another news that's bummer. You saw that Phoba Felix uh, got robbed. They were on tour. Ah, uh, that band can't catch a fucking break, dude. No. I I remember like they missed after their California date that we saw them. Or yeah, we saw them. Uh, their fucking van just kept going down, and like they lost like two shows I think because of the van. Um, yeah. I'm sure that's that must have been pricey to fucking fix. I mean, yeah, like, we'll, you know, we'll pop, yeah, we'll definitely pop that in there too. They just can't catch a break right now. Uh, if anybody needs to know who they are, they are Phobophilic, a sick ass death metal band from Portland, I think, right? Where they yeah. From? I think that's where they're from. Uh, but yeah, they're a death metal band, and like, 
Uh, from their yeah. first album oh, alone, yeah. their first and only album so far, like, you would think they've been like, playing for years. Like, it's it's a crazy good record. So, yeah, they're, definitely they're check definitely them out if you never have. Definitely a fucking killer death metal band. Everybody check out Phobia Felix. Um, let's see. Uh, did you see Clown's statement on Jay Weinberg leaving Slipknot? Yeah, and it's... I don't know. It's very, like... Just to sum it up, What's he basically word? said, like, oh, we're moving on. He didn't leave the band. We kicked him out. And uh, we're in a special place uh, with all the OGs, and we're going to do special stuff. Whatever the hell that means. Like, you have a drummer that has been with you for 10 years. Like, I mean, come on. I consider that somebody who's tenured, at least, in the band. Yeah, like, a crazy good personality, too. Everybody fucking loved him. Uh... And it was across like all genres. It was like, like how do you get rid of someone like that? And there was like no problems with him or anything like that. He even like stopped like his, the surgery he needed just to like finish up the tour with you guys. It's just like, yeah, I don't know. It just doesn't make any sense. Definitely, it's such just, a half-assed answer. Definitely weird. He's just basically saying we're choosing to do something different. How different? You could have like, we don't need a drummer anymore. We're gonna have just xylophones xylophones will keep our rhythm for us like what the fuck else like what do you mean something different you had a drummer with you for that long i i just don't get it i don't get it who can they replace with him especially one that could play all that early material like yeah so fucking you're gonna have well. to catch somebody up the pace all over again and their their next show i think is uh a uh, sick new world and that's in fucking april that's not a long time to find a new drummer and get them all caught up to speed, unless they have somebody in mind already. I'm the new drummer. You heard it here, folks. Uh, Avi is the new drummer for Slipknot. Rhythm, baby. I'm, I was born. Yeah, yeah, I was, was born, born with rhythm. For it. He was born for it. <laughs> no, but in all honesty, like, yeah, that answer is fucking bullshit. Um, sucks. Uh, they're going to have to find somebody really good in just a matter, matter of fucking months. Oh, yeah, what's not? Yeah, well, let's see what fucking happens. Oh, let's start a yawn counter. It's <laughs> gonna be a yawn counter in this one. There should have been in the last video, too. <laughs> we do these so fucking late now. I mean, ugh. Uh, anyway. Yeah, we're moving on. Orbit Culture is now a free agent, and they have. Finished their contract with uh, their previous record label, so now who knows what they're gonna do? Uh, right, well, now, I'm pretty around? sure right now everybody's gonna try and like pick them Coach up, them, or yeah. maybe they'll go independent, uh, just because like they are one of the hottest bands right now. They're gonna go on tour with Machine Head next year, and uh, every album and EP they've dropped has been fucking killer. Uh, I have not seen them live, but Shane Dude, has, and Shane can attest to that. They, they were great. They were great live. I got to see them. They played, uh, I think, 40 minutes set at Aftershock. They were badass. Uh, I think they're going on tour, or they just finished up a tour with Avatar. Um, but, yeah, next year they're going on tour with, like you said, Fear Factory and Machine Head. Uh, that's going to be a killer show. Uh, definitely yeah. going to that one. Um, and then we've got uh, Brand of Sacrifice signing to Nuclear Blast. Oh, that's a big label for them. Yeah. Uh, so they they were on a label before, but then their second album came out, and they released that one independently. So I thought they were just going to continue doing independent stuff, uh, especially after dropping those two EPs they did. And uh, the couple of singles they had, like Real Kenoshita, who was in Crystal Lake on mm. some guest vocals. They also had uh, Walt Ramos on, on one of their songs as well. Uh but, you know, Nuclear Blast is a really big label, so kind of makes sense. You know, they're known worldwide, so mm -hmm. sure the, the uh, you know, obviously they know how to handle business, so uh, no, 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 you got to get to them. And, like, the song that they they released uh, the other day uh, was a song I've already heard of live. But, uh, yeah, it sounds killer, so definitely check that out. You guys get a chance. No, no, no. It's fucking uh, killer on them. They go into a bigger label. Nuclear yeah. Blast, uh, hopefully can keep them uh, supporting and keeping going. But yeah, everybody check out Brandon Sacrifice. They're pretty cool. Um, An another band has escaped the shackles that is fucking Roadrunner. Uh, Unto Others is now signed to Century Media. They which were is, which is good. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so uh, if you guys didn't know, like, I don't know. Uh, Roadrunner really hasn't really been the same. 
And they've just been signing a bunch of dad rock, you know, stuff. Really? I mean, yeah. is Turnstile on Roadrunner still? They, they're still a Roadrunner, I think, yeah. but I'm pretty sure they're on their way out, too. I mean, Cut Orange is no longer with them. They went independent. Yeah, and the uh, album was good. They, yeah, it was um, very good. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, good good shout out to them. They're already working on another album, too, so I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I am a huge fan of their first two like uh, albums, so and their great life. So I'm excited for that. How many yawns has it been already? Uh, it's been <laughs> at least seven. Just a yawn stream. So you have seven. I, all right, so this is Javi's guess is I've had seven yawns so far. We'll do a yawn counter down below. Guess how many yawns I've done throughout this video, and you may win something special. That is hearts. Because you're watching this. And you, think you, could have Shane, you could have Shane sold, so he doesn't need it anymore. <laughs> Apparently, I don't have one already. I, I'm a ginger, right? <laughs> no, that's a stereotype. Dude, we don't do stereotypes here. Anyway, uh, Escola Grind has dropped a new song with oh, Chain, Barney Greenway. Another one? Another one? Yeah, yeah. No. Why did so you this... tell me that? I need to look that up. Or maybe they've been playing it on the radio and I haven't heard it. Uh, it just came out like two days ago. So maybe that's why you didn't check it out. Mm. But yeah, Barney Greenway, you know, oh, grindcore legend. Oh, you got on it? Yeah. That's so everybody sweet. likes to call it Squalor Grind Posers because of their fucking name. But right. like, you can't be a fucking poser when you've literally got one of the gods of grindcore yeah, in this fucking song. Yeah, why are they song, called so. posers? I, don't I mean, know. Their, their new EP coming out is called Death. Metal. That's yeah, probably in retaliation to all the people that call him posers and stuff. So, <laughs> uh, very cheeky for them, but yeah, I'm. It, uh, Whatever, that's great. Obviously, that's great. Obviously, the fucking um, yeah. It's a band I I still have yet to see. I miss them, and you went and jammed out to them. That psycho. Fuck, fuck I mayhem. I, that was it, right? No, I don't think so. It yeah, it wasn't. You literally else. wanted to go check out mayhem, and I was like, no, oh, I th I'm watching. Oh, well, it was something else. No, it was definitely. Yeah. Not too big into mayhem. Anyway, that sucked. I should have watched them because Squirrel Grind's sick. Uh, let's uh, see. Ghoul, Ghoul also dropped a new song. Oh, uh, did. Off their new EP. So, hey, and so uh, to it's check that out. Fuck. Yeah, yeah, I know. There's so many. I, I'm just telling you, dude. Across the board, there's, there's so many fucking answers, and like, this we've whole, only got two weeks left of the of the year. This whole fucking year has been nothing but album releases, tours, games comics movies it's like if you're if you were bored this year there's something seriously wrong with you you know straight up yeah like touch touch grass again if you if you need to <laughs> i mean oh and speaking of more shit to do did you see the tekken 8 demo just dropped you were telling me you were playing it and everything yeah yeah oh dude the game is even gorgeous and more, more gorgeous in person like the trailers don't do it justice the game is so good unfortunately my character is wasn't on the demo list uh -huh. but uh you know the game is pretty close to like coming out so it's okay it's okay uh yeah i'm super excited about that uh uh the story looks fucking crazy we gotta play a little snippet of it in the demo as well and then uh we also gotta find nice. like these uh new ghost ais who are supposed to like replicate like whether either a uh, pro player or like uh, one of the uh, developers of the game and uh yeah it was pretty hard uh, i'm not good at is yoshimitsu in it the fucking dude yeah yoshimitsu is in it yeah the, the trailer for him the trailer for him dropped I'm earlier this yeah week. We're, we're watching the tra i'm watching the trailer i got it on right now for everybody oh okay nice oh yeah, yeah yoshimitsu fucking... sick damn like this game looks really good uh music has been so good too shout out to street fighters music because whole it's so good um and then grand blue fantasy versus rising that just dropped too didn't it that just dropped too yeah, yeah. uh so there in case you guys want to try it i already kind of like i love grand blue but i don't really give a fuck about this game uh for my own reasons but they do have like a free version where like every week four different characters are going to be unlocked and you can just get to try out the game and still play, you can play online and stuff like as if it was like the full game um so if you know it's free on all it's also cross play right so if you get it on playstation or pc and you'll run into a bunch of people so uh, a lot of people seem to dig it so definitely check that out pretty you know? cool yeah that's cool stuff so what like yeah grand blue i never i don't know about those anime fighters not really into them 
Right. No, but um, speaking of which, uh, do you see IGN did their game of the year list? Yeah, and uh, I think it's more agreeable than the game. No, obviously no. Well, I no. mean, they, they're giving it to Zelda. Yeah. So me personally, I would give it to Zelda or then, Resident Evil 4. Yeah, but Baldur's Gate up. definitely deserved their, their Baldur's due. Baldur's Gate, their runner-up, Alan Wake. Cyberpunk was kind of weird. That's just a DLC. And then you had Resident Evil. Yeah, Cyberpunk is definitely not did not need to be there. Uh, could That's have had its own like DLC. section. DLC, like what the That's fuck? That's literally a DLC. Yeah. The game should have been game of the year the year it fucking came out, not three years later. No. You know, um, what else did you get into this week? You uh, watch anything else? You? Uh... No, I didn't. I didn't watch anything really. Uh, I just been watching a new show on HBO, Bookie. It's pretty funny. Oh, nice. What's it about? Uh, Bookie stuff. Bookie. Like gambling. You know what a bookie is? Sports book. Sports oh, okay. Book. So yeah, it straight yeah. up is about, okay. I, I just it's saw about like it about gambling. Like... It's about gambling, underground sports betting. It's pretty funny. Um, I enjoy it. Bookie's cool. Uh, been watching that. Um, what about you? Uh, so uh, I thought I was done with music, but no, like there's something worth my attention to, you know, check out. So Sephora so Hatred dropped their, their first album. They dropped the demo earlier. I think it was this year. Uh, but anyway, it has uh, Alex Jones from Undeath on vocals. Mm. It's got the drummer from Stabbed. Got the guitar player who's also doing bass on this album from uh, this cool Death Rash called Nine, Nine Realm. And uh, it's black and death metal, and it's awesome. It's so fucking cool. What band would uh, you liken them to? Hmm? What band would you compare them to that... Uh... Uh, I'd say it's pretty close to like Archgoat. You know, they're kind of brand of uh, black and death metal. No fucking clue here. Like, give okay, me, fine. Give me early, early behemoth. Oh, fine. Er, middle behemoth. Then. Okay, I can understand. <laughs> I know behemoth. <laughs> Dude, I'm going through your records because we do the record polls and I'm finding new shit. I'm like, whoa, this band's dope. We're like, this is weird, but this is cool. You know, shit I've never fucking heard of, dude. But yeah, you remind me of my one buddy who's just like, it's not a fucking demos only, bro. Like, is that how you roll now? You're no. like, just demos only. We don't fucking touch it. They got on tour, they fucking sold out. I rarely touch demos unless, like, <laughs> somebody really goes out of the way to, like, sh you know, shove it down my throat. <laughs> kind of thing. <laughs> uh, to, which doesn't happen too to, often. They need to be walking somewhere with the headphones. Check out my mixtape, bro. <laughs> it's fire. It's fire. <laughs> These fucking no, headphones but, are hot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but pretty much, like, aside from, like, my only problem with the album is that there's two, there's an interlude and an ending song that thankfully are not called interlude and, you know, outro song because I hate when fucking bands do that. Mm -hmm. But it's literally just like fucking atmospheric noise. Like I thought I was kind of annoying. But mm -hmm. the rest of the songs, the songs that are actually songs, were fucking sick. Uh, especially Alex Jones because like when he's in Undeath, uh, you know, you obviously know how he sounds like. But like when he, and this one, he sounds like uh like insane like, it's, like the, the insanity in this fucking head like took over like it's not about like video games and stuff anymore it's about like oh you know death like actual fucking you I, know I no not, not fun his name is alex jones like that crazy weirdo alex jones. i know every, everybody like mentions that i know <laughs> You're like, what the he, fuck? he, he, he joined he, on death i have to think about it for a second no hey, no he's not <laughs> frogs are not gay and undead <laughs> But yeah, de definitely check it out because it's really sick. Um, and then the, the other album that I listened to, it's uh, Crip Worm's second album. Uh, name is escaping me. Oh, wait. Losing radio Radioactive Vomission? Okay, whatever. Nice. W weird uh, names. But anyway, it's a, it's a power trio death metal band. Uh, they released their debut album last year and it was fucking sick. Real, like... Ooh, uh, you know, oh, uh, that's number nine. That's number nine. <laughs> fucking keeping track, uh, dude. Something I've got into this week. Not even a, a fucking new album, but like, I never. So this is a band I never got into. I've seen them live. I've given them a chance. So it's not like I'm like knocking them. I could never get into Deaf Heaven, but then I never knew about their 
there's sudden switch in sound with uh, infinite granite and the, the kind of shugazi kind of thing the post uh you know rock or post metal kind of thing and yeah, i yeah. think it's really good i was like holy shit i listened to the whole album i did the little video and i was listening to it I was like this is really fucking good yeah so if you've never heard of death haven they are a blackened shoegaze kind of band but like they, they kind of like it went more mellow now yeah yeah so like instead of like the the full-on blackened shoegaze stuff that they uh they usually do they just went full-on shoegaze on this one there's still some like black black metal yeah, shrieks there is there is there is but like pretty much it's like you know like nothing it sounds like nothing kind of stuff which i'm a big fan of so i was already digging the album uh but obviously stuff like that's going to alienate a lot of people but uh the quality was so good so i think like it'd be real bummer if like that that really did like turn you away from that band because they still it's not like they stopped playing their old shit you know it's like it's like opeth you know where like well who knows if they stopped doing the whole black and gaze thing but uh uh who knows how their next album is going to sound but um i'm definitely a fan of what i've heard so uh, no, no, it's, it's great. That was a little treat for me because I was like, oh, shit, this is Death Haven. I do not remember them sounding like this at all when <laughs> I seen them. Um, but, yeah, that, that was cool. So check that out. Uh, you watch any oh, movies this week? I did not. No. Uh, I think I'm all movied out. Damn. Uh, yeah. And then um, I started watching other people's, like, you know, other websites and, like, other publications, like, top 10s albums. And I'm, I'm like, very disappointed in a lot of them. What? Pretty much all of them, dude. Like, it's just, like, they either have, like, Avenged Sevenfold, which, you know, I actually listened to the, that album because, like, I used to be a big fan of them. But, like, holy shit, that album is terrible. <laughs> it's so bad. I um, was never then, into Avenged Sevenfold. I watched them from afar at Metallic, and I was like, bleh. I walked away. Yeah. Just never into them. I'm not saying they're bad musicians or anything. I was just never no, no, into no, them. Yeah. yeah. But um, yeah, the, the new album is straight up terrible. It was, just sounds really? like sounds like they just like demoed a bunch of songs and like put it all together to an album. It's really bad. Yeah. Um and then I I normally don't say this, but like it was it was truly fucking terrible. <laughs> <laughs> um and then the Metallica album, Seven Two Seasons, was also on the top tens that yeah, I noticed. It should be and I was like, one for everybody. Uh I I'm a huge Metallica fan. They're my favorite band like of all fucking time. But it better uh, you know, be I, on your number one hobby. They are not even top fifty <laughs> of this nice. year. No, no, no siree. Uh, but yeah, pretty, but yeah, I was just like upset. I was like, come on, there's so many other like actually good metal and rock bands and you're going to like put that shit. Did you need, Crazy. To, you need to get on your knees for Metallica? Cause I want to shill some Metallica stuff. Okay? No, no, no. The, 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 the 72 good. seasons, yeah. 72 seasons was an actually here. a good album. Yeah. <laughs> it, no, I understand that. I get it. There was again, there was so much music out here when it comes to an OG band. They're like, do we? Do they really need a number one? People are gonna buy it. People are gonna see them anyway. You know. I, I, well, I would obviously give them their credit if it was due. But like, the album's not terrible. It's it's pretty good. But compared to like the, the you know the Jesus piece, the Cold Orange, the, the Drain, the oh. all the other albums that came out this year, uh, the Obituary, Dying Fetus. There's so many other bands that are like. Even in their own genre, like in, like Enforce and stuff, like you know. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll definitely release. do a, a little year end of the year kind of thing where we pick our top albums. Yeah. Because uh, yeah. there was so much shit to go over. Maybe we'll save that for next weekend. Go more in depth. But yeah. um, let's see. Uh, you pick anything up? Uh, Justice of Fair Hatred and uh, Cripworn albums. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, actually, I did pick up a. Uh, uh what's it called uh 10 foot 10 foot ninja i think their their last album because like I mean, apparently i never ninja. got it 12 foot ninja there we go sorry They're great i wish i could have seen them yeah so that band's weird because like they started breaking up but then they dropped like uh, an acoustic song earlier this year so uh hopefully they're I'm still together because like i've never watched them and then no. the albums the three albums that they did right three three, three so. albums yeah three albums uh they were all crazy good so so good uh so i picked that up that was pretty neat uh oh yeah actually i did pick up a new game uh well this one came out like earlier this year uh but basically it's like a, a jet set radio inspired game 
Uh, they even got like Hideki to do music for them. Ah, uh, cool. But I was waiting for physical copies because it was out digitally for like everything for a while. But I, you know, digital sucks. So I wanted physical. Uh, so I'm, I'll probably play that on stream at some point. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, what's the game called? Uh, it's called uh, Bomb, Bomb Rush Cyberpunk. Um, Cyberpunk, Cyberpunk, sorry. Rush Cyber. Let me pull this up because I haven't seen it. Let's see. I straight up screams Jet Set Radio. Yeah, this looks funky. Yeah. This reminds there was another game that came out this year like that. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of games inspired by the greatness that is Jet Set Radio. Oh, that's another thing. The, uh, earlier this week, that's number 11. Or 12, I think. That's 12, actually. Yeah, good thing number they 12. can't see it because I got a video playing right now. <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, uh, Sega officially announced that like the the original team made Jet Set Radio is, in fact, on this uh, yeah. new game that they're making. So I'm super stoked for that. That means they're probably getting Hideki to do the music again. Hideki influence my huge influence on my music straight up. So I'm, I'm excited for whatever is to come. Hopefully we get it next year. If not, they can take whatever fucking time they did. I already waited so many so fucking long for this shit. As long as that happens. No, down. no, no. Completely agree. It's going to be cool. Jet Set Radio uh, was a fucking dope game for the original Xbox. If you guys haven't played it, uh, I'm pretty sure you can get it. Oh, that, that's actually a future. What? Jet Set Radio Future is on Xbox. Uh, Jet, Jet Set Radio is on everything on else. Dreamcast, right? No, yeah, yeah. The original Jet Set Radio came out on Dreamcast, but it's yeah. on everything now. But uh, Jet Set Radio Future, unfortunately, is still stuck on Xbox. Yeah. So hopefully they all support that one because that game is also really fucking sick. Yeah. I, I wouldn't doubt if it becomes an Xbox Game Pass game. That'd be fucking cool. No. Game Pass is great. That's no, the, I know. No, I know. But That's the shit right there. I, I, I don't want it just to be on Xbox, though. I kind of want it. No, it needs I'll to go be... on Xbox. You don't have an Xbox yet. You should get an Xbox. <sighs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> the Yon Counter is number 13. Anyway, anyway. So that's cool. That's cool. I guess uh, for me, I didn't pick up no games, but I did get way too many comics. Um, again, I want to shout out uh, Jeffrey's Comics and uh, Torrance. If you are in the California SoCal area, please go support Jeffrey's Comics. Unfortunately, they're closing the end of this year. They have a huge sale on everything. I'm still going to continue my pull service with them where they pull my comics and I pick them up. Um, please go there and support it. Buy as much, uh, many comics as you can because I just picked up a shit ton of books. Uh, you have the new Black Label series book, uh, Batman City of uh, Madness. Uh, maybe I'll take some better pictures to pop them in there because there is a huge stack. I'm gonna rapid fire right here, real quick. Um, you have DC's Christmas book, it's kind of cool. Uh, uh, -huh. uh, you had Batman and Sandy Claus. Uh, that's cool. Um, Berserker, did I ever tell you about this book? So this is uh, a you... Keanu Reeves comic. Yeah, yeah, you mentioned yeah, where that he's before. Where's the character in it? Pretty yeah, badass cool. Fallen Empire. It's standalone series, uh, I think. Uh, I love uh, Image Comics, and this is always some cool art. A lot of these books, I'm I'm freezing through them because I haven't gotten to read them yet. So I'll just uh, shout them out and everything. Our Bones Dust. Pretty cool, weird art. I liked it. Uh, you have a new Batman comic. Uh, issue 140 with uh, Joker on there. And you have got some new Guardians of the Galaxy where they're all trapped in uh, Mantis's head, I guess, or she's trapped in her own head. Then you have new Amazing Spider Man. There's a gang war arc going on right now. Uh, you have the new another image comic that I thought looked really cool called The Cull. It's currently on issue four, I believe, yes. Um, new Luke Cage dropped. Luke Cage 1 and 2. Uh, and the gang more art. Um, 
Do have a new Birds of Prey issue? Uh, oh, wow. Harley Quinn, Birds of Prey. Pretty cool. That's neat. Uh, you have... I picked these up. I think they've been out for a minute. Um, Batman, Gargoyle of Gotham. I really like the art in this. These black label books are DC's more adult oriented uh comics where they're pretty graphic um in the when they first launched the black label series i have that first ever book uh with batman the damn you even see like batman schlong in it Naked. yo Kinda really cool. some bat schlong oh. yeah. uh detective comics another batman book this is a cool one um new alice cooper comic this is issue one Oh. I think this is released under Boom Publishing. Let me uh, see. Uh, Dynamite. Dynamite makes uh, Alice Cooper's book. So pick that up if you're an Alice Cooper fan. That's pretty fucking cool. Uh, another quick uh, interjection with that. Uh, metal and pop culture. I definitely want to do something about that. Highlighting all the things that combine the two. Like, I even have a Kiss comic, uh, you know. There's a lot of metal bands that made comics that, that are in video games, TV movie shows. Like, we should do a collaborative thing on that. Um, yeah, I think earlier this year, uh, I think it was uh, DC. They did, like, a... They made a bunch of, like, art pieces with, uh, like, bands and, like, you know, the bat... The, the mm. evil Batman. Mm. There was, like, like... I think they had, like, Sepultura. They had, uh... Oh, uh... They had Megadeth. Or the, uh, Metal series. Yeah, yeah, like, they, they just did a bunch of artwork and stuff, and they released shirts and stuff. I thought that was cool. Um, yeah, dude, that, that would have been cool. Oh, that's right. What's it? Anyway, there was a bunch of shirts I remember you showing me. Uh, here's another cool comic. Uh, Gma, or Gma, Gma, whatever it's called. Pretty really good artwork, honestly. I just want to yeah, I look pretty sick, yeah. Uh, it's with Titan Studios, right? Or Titan Comics. I just really like the artwork on here. Uh, let's see here. Get a page go. Um, I thought it was pretty good. Let's see. Yeah. I just really like this style of art. Who's the artist for this one? The artist is written and created by Ji Hoon Young Lee. Uh, the artist. Pencil and Inks by Namaste Zitro. Oh, sounds like a pen name. I'll have to yeah. check that out. That does look sick. Oh, well, Co-Pencils was uh, Jae Hyung Lee, the creator of the comic. So, oh, okay. Nice. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, but anyway, I, I genuinely like the artwork for it. Um, it. It's sad, again, when coming back to the closure of my comic book store, um, I do have a pull list where I, I, I pick certain issues or whatever they automatically pull them so i come in and get those books but sometimes those wednesdays when new comic books come out there's so much stuff out there i'm trying to wander around the store i'm like holy shit i like this i sit there breeze through a few pages if i like the art that's what sells me if your comic has a unique distinct art uh, i'm gonna pick it up i'll look through it for a little bit i was like oh there's cool gore in here cool i'll take it you know oh yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, art, i found art. some really good shit there Good art is important, you know. It definitely is what lures me into a lot mm -hmm. of the things I like, for sure. Whether it's an album, whether it's a, a manga, a comic, uh, a video game, uh, it's it's all it all ties it together. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and so, then uh, I'm almost done here. There was a lot yeah. this week I picked up. Um, another Luke Cage book. Uh, that's issue one. Ooh. Uh, I I here's the thing that sucks about me and comics and everything. Because sometimes I don't go there for a while and I forget what I picked up. I honestly think I picked this up, but this might be a new series. But I don't know. Because I have had this happen to me a bunch of times, right? I don't go there for like three weeks and I have a big stack of comics to pick up. And then I'm like, oh, fuck, I already picked up all of these. But um, Superior Spider-Man, uh, Return of Superior, Superior Spider-Man issue one. That's when uh, Doc Ock was in uh, uh, Peter Parker's head. And this is another issue of the coal. I like that art. I like this cover. This cover a lot was cool. Pretty fucked. Um. Anyway, that's uh, a lot of the nerd shit I picked up this week. Um. Uh, 
So my PlayStation Rap dropped, uh, and like, oh, you played apparently... almost four hundred fucking hours of Street Fighter. That was a uh, kind of eye opening. <laughs> Hey, that's uh, why they gotta watch out. You put 400 hours into it. And I'm still the same fucking rank. Do you but know it's okay. a full-time job, I think, is at 2,000 hours or something a year? Well, they do say that, you know, the fun things don't feel like a job, right? Yeah. <laughs> and you put almost, like, this was a part-time job for you at this point? Uh, but yeah, another thing I did was I finally finished the uh, Tales of Arise DLC. Oh, nice, um, nice. Yeah, honestly, it's just okay. Uh, for twenty bucks, I kind of expected a lot more. Uh, it's cool seeing like the story that happens after the, the game and like how these characters are dealing with the aftermath of of the, the original story. Um, especially after two years, you know, it's kind of hard to believe that game came out two years ago, but uh. We only got like maybe four new bosses and like no new mobs to fight, so that was kind of disappointing. Uh, but you know, whatever, it was a good time. But then I started playing the God of War DLC, oh. and that shit's free, and like there's new enemies and stuff, and, and it's actually like a new story with voice acting and everything. I was just like, okay, why the, why the fuck was this one free? And like I, pay, I had to pay for the other one because I, I much rather had paid for God uh, of War. It's called being a part of a huge ass studio where they could do that kind of thing. No, 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 that, that, I'm not saying it as a bad thing. I'm saying literally, like, I would rather have paid money for God of War than Tales of Arise. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nah, nah, but anyway. But yeah, that's uh, right, the new God of War DLC came out. I need to beat that fucking game. It's been a year, over a year. And I think I got, like, three hours left of that damn game. I just need to power through it. Not remember shit of what the fuck was going on. And beat it. Because I do yeah. want to play the new DLC. It looks really good. Yeah, I've never played a roguelike before, but, uh... I guess it's basically my first one, and like so far, it's pretty that's fun. That's what it's like. And, yeah, that's what they said. It's a roguelike. Really? So you're just jamming through Valhalla, dying and getting more gear, and yep, that's literally what happened. Yep, I streamed it earlier too this week. If you haven't checked it out, nice, uh, nice. pretty much. And I guess like the universe is like, hey, we know you just beat that Tales of Arise game, so here, my figure that I pre-ordered like earlier this year finally wow. came. In. Look at that anime ass. Yeah, George, nice George, anime butt. Yeah. Yeah. So Do she... you have one of those booby mouse pads too? No, no. I've yeah, got a. Yeah. Oh, I can't really show it right now, but I, I picked up a, uh, a big ass. Like I didn't even think it was this big. Like I thought it was gonna be like you know, like the normal size the razor medium ones had, but this one was bigger than the razor mouse pad I had, and it's like, the Shimigami Five mouse pad, and it's fucking huge. It basically takes up like half my desk. So, hmm. yeah. Uh, no, I don't have the booby one because I, I got some self respect. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, w I would much rather have like one of those like mouse pads with like the butts. I'd yeah. rather have like Snake's butt, you know. <laughs> having Snake's having Snake's butt would be cool. A Metal Gear Solid. Yeah. <laughs> Bullshit. I think. Um, that's about it, right? Yeah, that's about it. Uh, I don't know what else the. To... Oh, actually, no, no, what? we forgot, dude. Oh, E3. I forgot. Oh, E3 sucks, and now it's Game Awards. Yeah, E3 is officially dead now. You know, they officially announced that they're not going to do any more. They've been trying in the past, I, but they were going to try it before the pandemic happened, but then the pandemic screwed everything up. And then ever since then, they just haven't been able to keep it together just because, like, every, uh, every, there's, like, uh, big no developer, point. like, yeah, drops they, their own, they'll uh, do their own press conferences. Yeah. And so it sucks because it, it literally feels like my child's dying right in front of me. Uh, so my favorite announcements was, like, the very first time I saw The Last of Us, I was just like anticipating what day was finally going to come. Damn, you youngin'. I remember seeing Halo fucking 2 on that shit. I was like, oh, Halo fucking 2? You could dual wield? Oh, shit. Like, watching that shit on G4. Fucking shout out to OG G4. New G4 was cool, but fuck that they didn't run around as long. I mean, yeah. I don't know. OG G4 is the best. Anyway, I remember you used to watch those fucking E3 streams all the fucking time. That shit was fucking awesome. I know. I, every summer was just, like, made because of that shit. Um, another cool one was, like, this was the most recent one, actually, like, in 2015. Uh, before I found out that Final Fantasy VII was going to get, like, split into three fucking parts, like, I was, like, 
super stoked because like I don't really like Final Fantasy like that, but Final Fantasy VII always has like a special place in my heart. And when that shit got announced and like they showed like the HD like cloud, I was like, holy shit! It was insane. That's another game I want to play that I haven't. Yeah. Um. Anyway, I think uh, uh, unless you got any last minute things, I will. Uh, what do you? Got? No, that's it. Pretty much. Well, I want to say everybody, thank you for joining us here. Um, if you don't, if you haven't heard, we're doing a. Uh, we did a whole festival announcement for Death Over Bakersfield. We announced three bands. I will put the uh, link somewhere over here. Maybe it'll pop up a little card. Please go check out Death Over Bakersfield band announcements and interviews with the uh, promoters. Uh, it was a good time, and it's uh, pretty informational if you're ever trying to uh, learn how to promote uh, and book bands and everything they they go pretty in depth and i enjoyed doing that interview uh that's another thing we got a bunch of interviews we got a we got a whole lot of content planned yeah yeah no? uh, anything else? The, the, the young the young counter is like at 15 boy i know i know <laughs> anyway i think that's about it from the board display gaming studios that are respective uh places uh thanks everybody for watching Till next time. Till next time. I'm Shane, and that's Javi again. Yeah. Later, everybody. Later.